How you doing everybody? Welcome back. My name is Shutama, SurvivalTimelines.com. Alright, so this is my kitchen, Anko Restaurant. Restaurant is located on the east side of Providence. About like 10 minute walk from here. So, alright, so right now I'm going to go over, um, I'm going to show you how to make a dish that I pretty much eat every day. It's um, a rice bowl. It's one of the dishes I sell, very, very popular. Um, four vegetables, it's broccoli, onions, carrots, and green peppers. Very, uh, very healthy, so I, mean, I pretty much eat it almost every day. But sometime I switch it up, I'll go to a um, Cambodian store, uh, supermarket, and I'll buy some whatever vegetables there that's on sale. Usually a lot of green vegetables. And I'll do that and I'll make that into a soup. So again very very important um, and you know the older you get you know when you reach your 50 I'm gonna be 53 this year so you gotta watch what you eat and it's very important you know you stay away from fried foods processed food so it's very easy to cook it's so simple and it's you know it's not expensive you could probably you know make a lot of dishes buy a bunch of meat and cook it for a while you know what I mean so again this is my kitchen um, I'm only open like five days a week Monday to Friday dinners only and um, I take Saturday and Sundays off so you know again I have four jobs you all probably all know um, so I don't have time uh, even I don't, don't want to be in a restaurant business anymore I'm just riding out till my son graduate college then I'm just I'm done with the restaurant you know what I mean I'm gonna get into more blogging doing YouTube hopefully you know try to find my family in a couple of years so trying to be healthy trying to eat right um, I don't eat red meat I'm eating chicken and fish a lot of steam a lot of boil you know boiled eggs I don't eat the egg yolk um, I mean I can't stress it enough um, the evidence is right here I've been eating healthy, trying to lose weight. Um, the only way you're gonna do that is you gotta commit yourself, and you gotta say to yourself, "Hey, this is what I want to be. This is where I want to go. I want to lose X amount of weight in such amount of time." So you gotta make that commitment. You know, nobody in the world is gonna make anybody change unless that person want to change. You can talk to your blue in the face, been there and done it. So anyway. Well, I'm just gonna make show you what I make. So it's very simple. This is my kitchen. I got pots and pans. I got water boiling. Basically, I like to steam my vegetables so it's quicker when I'm cooking. But for this demonstration, you don't have to. Uh, but anyway, so this is my um, sandwich unit. So you got um, basically two, four, six, eight compartments. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, certain kitchens, you know, I have four vegetables. It's basically broccoli, onions, green peppers, and carrots. That's it. You're not getting anything else or anything less or anything more. And then everything else is like, you know, scallions, um, tofu, chicken, beef, pork, and shrimp, all that. Depending on what the customer order. Um, then, you, you know, I got the onions, um, the uh, scallions, the green onions. So you cut it up and you put it into these bins, you know. So uh, same thing with everything. You cut it up, put it in the bin so it's quicker. Uh, garlic, uh, crushed black peppers, crushed red peppers, uh, paprika, crushed ground peanuts. Um, basically, there's not a lot of in different things in, to open up a kitchen. Uh, again, my restaurant is different. I have one page and that's it. You come in here can't order nothing else I'm not making it okay I'm a one-man band whatever's on my menu that's what you're getting you want something else go to Four Seasons Galaxy whatever you know what I mean I tell them my friends own those restaurants they got six seven chefs back there I'm by myself so I don't tolerate any of that anymore okay you don't like it don't come here so basically that's it you know what I mean very basic so this is basically what I eat okay you get you know, I, I cut up, yeah, these broccoli, you buy broccoli, I don't use frozen broccoli, I like everything fresh, you cut up the broccoli, boom, you know, broccoli, onions, again, 
onions don't come cut. They come big ass onions, right? Cut it up the way you want it. Boom, there you go. Carrots, onions, green peppers, okay? So again, green peppers, the bell peppers, they don't come cut. You gotta cut it. So you own a restaurant, you gotta come in, you gotta prepare everything. People think it's easy. No, you, it, takes, it takes time to come and cut up things, get it ready for, for you to open up. So the carrots, I like to just get a whole carrot, peel it, and whatever I need it. Bang, just get, just cut it. That's it, you know what I mean? I cut it, I don't have to waste it, you know what I mean? And that's it, so now you got your four vegetables, broccoli, onions, green peppers, and carrots. So, what I like, this is what I eat, okay? So, let's say you wanna eat beef or pork. You can put it in the pan, saute it, and simmer it, but for me, I don't eat a lot of uh, meat, so I like just a lot of vegetables. Sometimes I do tofu, sometimes I, I do chicken. So the next thing I do, you just put um, a little oyster sauce. Okay. Then I love garlic, you know. You can't beat garlic. Buy a whole package of them, grind it up in the grinder. Uh, food processor, you just, you know, there's never enough garlic. Garlic's really good for you. Pretty much universal where every country uses garlic. Alright, so that's it. And then I like to um, put a little zing into it, fresh black pepper. Okay. Very, very basic. So now, again, this is my kitchen. I don't have a, a wok stove, I don't have a, um, a fry later. It's just basically two commercial stoves, total of 12 burners. But I basically use, basically use one stove only. The other, the first stove, I pretty much heat up my soups, okay? When I was, when I had a busy restaurant, I had a prep here, she would do all the soup and salad and nim chow. So me, I just saute, now I do all of it. I do soup, nim chow, one man band, baby. But um, again, one page menu, so I don't have to deal with all, and then any BS. So basically, I say, I pretty, pretty much use the one stove so again, remember you can put the vegetables in the strainer and put it into the hot water. I do that when I'm cooking, uh, when I'm working, because it's faster to put in the pan. But in this case, you know, turn on the stove. That's it. This is the same stove, same thing you have at home. There's no difference. It's not a wok stove. So everything is sautéed. It's very basic. So. Come on, you tell me you can't make something like this. It's healthy, it's fresh. You know, you got fresh garlic, a little bit of oyster sauce. You could use hoisin sauce too. If you're vegetarian or vegan, you don't want to use oyster. Bust out the hoisin sauce. Put a little hoisin sauce in here. Now look, vegetables don't take long to cook. So if you're gonna use meat, chicken, beef, or shrimp, or whatever, put the meat in first, saute it with the ingredients. And then you add the vegetable on after that. So now you can hear it's simmering, right? So basically this pan is like, the way I cook, I saute everything. Um, if you had a wok stove here, as soon as you turn the stove on, be like, oh. that's like a, it's like a jet engine, you know? And that's why they use a lot of oil. And if, let's say they are making beef and broccoli. You turn that wok stove on, oh. boom, put the broccoli, the beef, put in, Two, three seconds, you're done. Boom. But I don't do that here. This is uh, made to order. Everything is cooked slower, you know. And I think it's, you know, to me personally, it's healthier too. And, um, so when you're cooking, you know, you can use, add a little water in there. Um, make it a little bit more soupy if you want. But you don't have to because the sauce is already there. Add a little bit of heat. That's basically it. So um, this is done. So um, there's no meat in here. So very nice. It's fresh. It's clean. So now all you do now, if this was um, an order for a restaurant, I would get a bowl, put the rice in it. It's called a rice bowl, right? So put the rice in the bowl. So it'd be a bowl like this. I would get the rice, and then I would just pour it right in there. And there's your rice bowl, okay? 
This is for me for demonstration. And when you pour stuff out of the saucepan, I don't know what it is. It's the way the world's spinning. But move it to your left, okay? And then move it to the left and pull the food down. It just comes out perfect. Same thing with the noodles. Just push it to the left and then bring it down. When it comes out, it's just perfect. I guess, I don't know. I don't know why, why it does that, but it just makes it look so nice. And there you go. That's, you know, is your rice bowl. Um, very basic, very clean, very neat, fresh. Now, if you don't want to use hoisin sauce or oyster sauce, put a little bit of salt, water, um, sea salt, you know, crushed pepper. That's it, it's very, very basic. Um, now, to me, personally, like an Asian kitchen, I've never been in, in all of them, but it's very basic. A lot of people don't like to tell you what, what they use in cooking this. It's very basic. You're like a, a bartender, like a mixologist, you know? So, hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, fish sauce, soy sauce, and everything else is pretty much herbs and spices, you know? Like you got the Thai basil, you got your red curry, you know? You can go to any Cambodian store, Chinese store, get red curry. Um, there's green curry. So let's say you wanted to eat, let's say I wanted to eat, uh, instead of a rice bowl, and I wanted to make this into a red curry. Same thing, put a little bit of oyster sauce, garlic, just grab a teaspoon of the red curry, put it in there, grab a little coconut milk, saute that, add your meat, boom, saute it, and then add the vegetable you like. Um, red curry, in this restaurant, I put in um, cut string beans, I put onions, carrots, and green peppers. There it is, that's my red curry, all right? Um, very, very easy. Again, see it's made to order, it's fresh. It's not, I'm not making this stuff and put it in a warm-up where people are coming out uh, to order food and you're dishing it out. Again, Chinese restaurants are very busy. So, I'm not busy right now. 95% of my business is all takeout and delivery. And I like it like that. So I don't have to deal with people coming in like, can I get this, get that? I have no more tolerance for that, okay? I'm going to be 53 years old. You can't eat. Uh, you're allergic to this, allergic to that. Sorry, it's not the restaurant. Uh, but anyway, so it's very, very basic. So again, all those ingredients I mentioned earlier, you could be creative. You can make thousands of recipes using all those basic ingredients that I just told you about. Um, it's no science to it. Um, I mean, you just got to do it. Um, all right, so I'm going to taste this, see how it tastes. You can tell, man, this is fresh. I mean, you basically just cut broccoli. It's not frozen back. Sorry for talking while I'm eating. Onions, green peppers, and carrot. If you want, you can put tofu, which I sell a ton of. For some reason, Brown University area, with all these Ivy League schools, they love tofu vegetable. Hey, better for me, it's cheap, and I sell tons of it. So, wow, this is good. Give me one second. All right. Now, I just showed you how to make a very basic dish. I mean, there's no excuse, guys, not to eat healthy. Now, you notice I'm not eating with rice because I'm trying to cut back on my carbs. Rice, noodles. But the rice is not bad. Um, the Asian rice noodles, it's basically rice. You know I mean? It's really not wheat or... Uh, there's no wheat in there. It's just eating white rice, but it's noodles. So this is a very good dish, very easy, simple, and healthy. Now you can choose to use like other exotic green vegetables, anything you want. But the basic ingredients is there. Oyster sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, garlic, crushed black pepper. And if you want to make it spicy, get out the jalapeno, slice it up, throw it in there. Crushed pepper, throw it in there, spicy. So, this is one, um, it's a great dish, uh, let me see, I'm a little hungry, but you know what, I got time, so, 
I sell Nim Chow, which is basically a fresh, like a fresh spring roll. Um, it's very, very basic. They got these, um, I use this size, it's like a 10.5 ounces. This is a product of Vietnam. So you get these, um, I cut, I use two pieces, well one and a half. I cut one piece into a half and I use a whole one. So basically what I do, I get one whole one and a half that I cut in half. And I put it in the middle like this. Then I put it on the sheet. Then I dip it into the sheet and I'll show you how to do it right now. So you get like, this is a standard, like a pizza dish thing, okay? So in order to put the tapioca uh, sheet, rice sheet, all this thing is, is made out of uh, tapioca, starch, salt, and water. <laughs> we're, more, we're better healthy than that, right? We're more healthy. So now, so you get the sheet, but before you do that, you gotta boil up this pan, okay, the sheet. Very simple, get a little oil, regular oil. I used uh, corn oil, so it's getting a little messy, but, uh, so just a little bit, you rub it. Just get a nice all over the pan. Again, everybody does it differently. To me, I just get it done, I mean, that's that's it. So, some of you, I hate making them chow, it's just a pain in the butt, I gotta stop what I'm doing. Bust out these sheets, cut it, get the stain, put the oil in. It's a pain in the butt. I really want to get rid of it on my menu. So that's it. So you get this, you basically put it like this, okay? On a pan. So if, watch what I do now. So there's a boiling pot over here. So I make sure you put it in the middle like this, uh, this half cup piece. Put it right in the middle of the, the full circle sheet piece. And you're gonna dip half of it into the water and then bring it to the pan. So watch how I do it. And the water's gonna be warm. So, so I dip half, and I put it right on the pan, and I turn it around, and I get my ladle, and I just put the water, hot water, right on there, and just use the back of the ladle to massage the water right in just smoothing out the, the sheets, the tapioca sheets. It only takes like about a couple of seconds because it's hot already. Okay, so you got your pan now. This is the tapioca. So now you could pretty much put anything in here, but for me, my menu is just vegetable. I don't deal with shrimp or chicken. You're getting vegetable nim chow, and that's it. That's all I'm making. Again, I don't even want to make these things. It's a pain in the butt to make. So basically my nim chow is, it's just you're gonna need some basil leaves, uh, some noodles, bean sprout, and lettuce. I gotta get that by the way, hold on. So you basically get, you get the Thai basil. I love Thai basil, it's really good. And you don't need a lot to make a nim chow. You get a piece of Thai basil. I rip it up in half. Um, get a piece of lettuce. So you put the lettuce down on the on the pan, okay? And um, right now I'm just gonna eat it because I'm a little hungry. But the noodles, you get the rice noodles. So the rice noodles, you have to put it in water overnight to make it soft. You can't just open up a package of rice noodle and make nim chow or even cook whatever pad thai uh, spicy noodle that I have on my menu. So, so right now, so you, I don't want any noodles. So I can, I'm gonna skip the noodles. So basically, you get, um, you could get cucumber. Again, you could put anything you want in your nim chow. So I'm gonna just put a cut, a slice of cucumber in there. You get a slice, you got your lettuce, put the cucumber on top of your lettuce, and every nim chow has, you know, the noodles in it, but I'm not putting the noodles this time, and bean sprouts. So be generous with this bean sprout. It's pretty basic. 
So again, let's say somebody wanted chicken nim chow or shrimp. A lot of most places make it with shrimp, but I can always custom. It's like oh, I don't want shrimp in my nim chow. They're allergic to shrimp. All right, then that's why I cut out all of it. I don't deal with that no more. You're getting vegetable nim chow. Period. That's it. You want chicken or shrimp? Four season galaxy apsara. So not here. Okay. So anyway. Um, so again, lettuce with my cucumber. Then I got the basil, the Thai basil, which is really good. Now, there's a little trick you know, that I I used to watch my ex mother in law make it, my prep makes it. It's a pain in the butt, you know. You gotta put the gloves on, you gotta roll it. So now, um, again, I mean, what else do I want in it? I put a little broccoli if I want, you know, put a little piece of broccoli. Um, so then, you got the roll, so it's a circle. So you gotta pull one side up and over, like in the middle. Then I spin the thing around again, pull the other side up and in the middle. So I don't know if you can see it now, see it? So now you got your legs straight, like rectangular, okay? Then you just roll up, you just roll up the sides here. Make it into like a, you know, into like a piece or a roll, like a coin roll. So now here's what you're going to do. You're going to use your middle fingers and your index finger. As you're rolling it, you're squeezing everything in the middle. Just keep squeezing it and keeping it tight. And then that's basically it. You can't, can't do anything else special about it. You just keep rolling it. And then it becomes a nice little roll. I mean, it's a female thing. thing. I'm, I'm not being, uh, you know, sexist or racist, but the females got smaller fingers. They know how to. But this, this thing come out too bad. You know what I mean? And again, whatever comes out, I say I'm putting it out there. They don't like it, don't eat it. But again, it didn't come out too bad. So now, if it's for here, on a nim chow, so I, there would be two of them. So you put it in a plate like this, get the sauce, that's it. So it's very easy. The trick is when you're rolling it, keep it, keep it, I don't want to say it, but you know, it's like rolling a joint or something, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, it's nim chow, you roll it, make it tight, keep it tight, tight, and that's it. And it's not a bad nim chow. This is very basic and it's very good. Um, the sauces. So the Vietnamese people the restaurant, they'll give you like a peanut butter thick consistency sauce. The Cambodians, we don't. Or the Cambodian restaurant, we don't serve peanut sauce with our nim chow. We, there's no such thing as peanut sauce. They said basically fish sauce, vinegar, salt, and they crush ground or crush um, peanuts. You grind it, you pour it in there, and you just dip it. Okay. And it's just, it's more, you know, it's, it's a, a liquid nim chow sauce dip as opposed to the Vietnamese, they do, uh, they give you peanut butter. They make peanut butter, they put their, uh, all those, whatever they put in there. Um, you dip it and that's it, it's nice. So, for here, so now, like, you know, this is, when I have time, if I'm not cooking, so, I mean, this is what I eat. Very good. Um, nim chow has got that very distinguished taste. Um, tapioca, you know, starch, the salt, and water. So it's already tasty. You can put this stuff in a. You can dip this in the water and eat it. And I mean, it's good. It's healthy. It's like eating like a, one of those rice crackers. That's there's nothing to it. But oh, this sauce is good. Um, this is my oyster sauce with the garlic, crushed, crushed black pepper, you know. Mm. Okay. So, this is, um, I'm closed today. Today's Sunday, so I drove all day today, so. This is the first meal I've eaten all day. 
so basically I'm, I'm eating vegetables so I mean again there'll be another video you want to look healthy you want to be healthy and you want to be you know feel good every day in my case you work four jobs it's all what you eat what you put in your body is what you're made of you know what I'm saying you gotta cut out the McDonald's the Burger King and the you, in Rhode Island, you got Cumberland Farms and Massachusetts everywhere. You go in Cumberland Farm, two for two fifty. How the hell could you say no to two fifty for two hot dogs, any size? You know what I mean? But it's killing them. It's killing people. It's giving you all these bad things. You know, you, you, you get a big gut. You know, two for two fifty. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. You know, sometimes I'm hungry once in a while, but I, I've been cutting it out. No more hot dogs, no more 99 cent sliced pizza, pepperoni. Stay away from cumbies, you know, you can just get coffee, get gas. So anyway, this is really healthy. Um, there's so many, there's thousands of other ways you can make food for yourself at home uh, to be healthy. I mean, this is just one example. Like, in my restaurant, I got rice plates, noodle plates, appetizers, um, soups, yeah, two soups, that's it. You're not getting nothing else but nam ya soup, or medicinal nam ya soup, and tom yum soup. Tom yum soup is very, very easy to make. It's very easy. Um, you just, it comes in a bottle, you know. It's, it's called tom yum paste. You can't get more basic than that. You just use a little paste. Uh, you need to get some uh, tamarind powder. You add your water. A little bit of garlic again garlic and um, you want to add a little maybe a little bit of sugar brown sugar whatever uh, you just taste it make it taste it it's very it's sour you know it's really good tom yum is really good soup again very easy to make so depends on what you like so my my dishes are very easy everything is here now everything is like basic so as the order comes in boom 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 done so I usually always have like two pans. I'm cooking two dishes at once, sometimes three or four. I'm like turning, boom, boom, making soup. Very, very easy. Um, hold on a second. My daughter's calling me, hold on a second. Hey, how you doing? This is my second daughter. She's just facing time. And she's in, she just got a job last year. She's in, um, with a friend now. Hey, I'm doing a session. Just say hi to everybody. This is my daughter. She's FaceTiming me. How you doing? Unbelievable. I miss you. Wow. Where is that? Where are you? Brittany, where are you? Oh, you're at Corona Del Mar. I thought you were going somewhere else. No, I just wanted to make. I mean, we're talking because it's Call me later. All right. All right, thanks for FaceTiming me. I love you, okay? Take care of yourself, you. all right? Bye. <laughs> My daughter. Perfect timing. But anyway, that's... Oh, man. It's my baby, you know? she's She just turned 23 years old. And she got a job and... Um, she got a job at a local company in Rhode Island and she decided to take a job out in California, 3,000 miles away from me, so... Again, you know, I'm a single dad, so I've been raising these kids um, 10 years now. They, they, they're going to be 21, and she just turned 23. 23 years old. She was there two year, 22, she's by herself in California. And um, so we FaceTime each other now almost every day. She's an awesome person. She's like my twin, you know. She, she's awesome. She's strong. She's smart. Way smarter than me. But anyway. Um, I'm glad you guys get to catch that. So anyway, so you know, life's very adaptive. You know, single dad, I'm could be living a life when I when um when my wife left me ten years ago, we got divorced. People like, yo, shoot, you got you know you know man, you can you can you got a restaurant, you got th let the kids go live with some with their mom or somebody. I'm like talking about my kids, you know, they they go nowhere but with me. But anyway, so. That's another video, but again, so coming back to the restaurant now, so again, eating healthy, uh, cooking the right foods, um, 
you know, right now, I try to limit a lot of waste. And that's the problem when you have a lot of items on your menu. Like if you go to any Asian restaurant, Chinese restaurant, Cambodia, you name it. You sit down, you get a menu, there's four freaking pages. You close your eyes and you say to the chef, make all those dishes and you eat it. They're all gonna taste very similar. So basically my menu, I threw out 90% of the menu. Uh, even when, my, when I was married with my, my mother-in-law, we had like three or four pages. And again, it was me, her, and a prep. And sometimes I had, before I was cooking, we had two chefs. So yeah, you can handle four or five pages if you got more people cooking. But you're looking at a one-man band here. So I'm done with that. So right now, and I'm not wasting food. I buy stuff that I need for my menu item, and that's it. And when I'm done with cooking, and all, I don't have, I have less cleaning up. Uh, you know what I mean? Really, very easy. So that's the key. But every restaurant is different. This is the way I run my kitchen. Again, you see it. I got two stoves, no fryer later. Um, so my food is sauteed and it's fresh. So, so right now it was good. I show you how to make a basic dish, a rice bowl and, and a nim chow. Um, so I'll be making more videos. Um, I like to show. I'm gonna show you how I prep. You know, like I gotta cut everything, man. I gotta do all this by myself. So I basically gotta cut. Like when people order beef, chicken, pork, it doesn't come cut up. I gotta buy like a, the beef comes in like 10 pounds, uh, the pork comes in like eight or nine pounds, and um, the chicken comes, I buy 40 pound case, so it comes in four bags of 10 pounds each. So I'm gonna cut that up. So I gotta cut chicken, I gotta cut beef, I gotta cut pork. And the shrimp, I pretty, it comes in a bag so it's easy, you know. I don't buy the ones that has the shell, so it's just boom, when I take it out, done. Um, so it's very easy. This kitchen is pretty much streamlined. Um, I came up with a system with the sauces. Like, you put, let's say one dish requires four or five sauces. You know what I mean? I put it all together, then put it in one of these things. Why would you do, you're busy, and you got a four or five tickets to cook you're gonna you're telling me you're gonna cook four or five dishes you're gonna go one two three four sauces no i got rid of that years ago everything's in one bottle two bottles that's it and that's how i became fast and you gotta be adaptive you gotta be fast and that's how you that's how i survived we've been here since 2007 okay and um in this east side and I've been in this building since around almost 2010 I bought the building so after I got divorced 2009 I came here so I mean everything is streamlined soon the kitchen is I built this kitchen while well, I rearranged it the way I want it to be so it's just basically a one line so I don't want nobody next to me behind me it's just me cooking and don't bother me when I'm cooking because I gotta get I gotta bang this stuff out so this is the way my kitchen is run. So basically I have the two stove, a two door uh, right there behind you. It's, um, it's basically one of these two big commercial doors. I got a sandwich unit here. And I got two college type refrigerators I don't use anymore because again, I told you I was streamlining, cutting out a lot of stuff on my menu. So I don't even use that. Two microwaves. I got um, one, two, three, four uh, stainless steel tables. And I got um, a three base sink, and I got a, a vegetable sink, and I got some racks. That's it. I mean, this is a very basic kitchen, um, but it serves the purpose um, for me anyway. Um, again, I'm riding this out. Um, you know, I'm basically don't want to cook no more. Uh, I've been there and done it. I don't want to train anybody. You train somebody. I had people here. Um, they came in, I made all the sauces, made all the soup. All I have to do is heat it up, put things together, and cook it and serve it. Can't even handle that. They had to make their own freaking ingredients, sauces, and my customers would say, shoot, what's up with your pad thai? It don't taste the same anymore. I'm like, wow, what's wrong? It, they, it should be the same. Come to find out they were making their own ingredients. So, go on. 
So now it's just me. I can't, I can't, I don't have tolerance and I can't deal with people anymore. And plus, anybody that you hire, they want to come here, they want to cook, they want to get paid, but they don't want to clean, they don't want, when they're not cooking or working, they don't want to clean, they don't want to get things ready. So, one man, one man band, baby. You want things done, you do it yourself. And that's it. And I'm done with the restaurant in two years. I don't want anything to do with the restaurant business. Um, so that's it. Um, again, I really appreciate everybody's support uh, on YouTube. It's great. I got email from uh, YouTube saying people are watching the videos. Um, again, I just started YouTube like two weeks ago. So everybody likes my videos. Some video, I got two long videos. They're like 40 minute videos. But they're pretty good. They're very informative. Um, and you know, you, you learn a lot by watching those videos. Um, I got a couple of workout videos. I got one more video to shoot because about you know working out. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna continue to do different videos to educate you about you know what's going on. Uh, maybe I can next time I might do another dish or so. But again, I got four jobs. I got four jobs, man. Four jobs is a lot, and I don't have time. So you know what I mean. Now is with this coronavirus crap. So it's like it's crazy right now. So. Just take care of yourself, you know, wash your hands, don't touch anybody's, don't shake hands no more. Do what us Asian people, you see each other, just bow, or do fist pumps, or elbows, you know. Don't shake anybody's hands, and again, healthy, eating right, if you get the virus, you'll make it, I'm telling you right now. I, look at me, you know what I mean, that's another video I'm going to show you. you got to make your body into a weapon, you know what I mean. I don't get sick. I haven't been sick, knock on metal or wood. I haven't been sick in five years. You can't be sick. You gotta t teach yourself to be strong, and then that's it. Bottom line. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for tuning into my uh, YouTube channel, SurvivingTheTimelines.com. Thank you.